Hi, my friend. Welcome back. In this course, I'm going to teach you how to test all electronic components exist in this motherboard without removing it from the board using the multimeter. So let's get started. Please, if you are serious about improving your repair skills, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for future videos like this one. And to be part of our family where I have over 1000 friends, you are very welcome. All links in the description. Also, you gonna find in the description the link for a full article in my website about all what we have discussing in this video. So please make sure you stay tuned and do not miss any moment if you want to maximize your chance of understanding this course. So let's select in the multimeter the continuity option. Let's begin with ceramic capacitor. So this is ceramic capacitors for beginner. This kind of capacitors are not polarized like tantalum capacitor or electrolytic capacitor. So let's check these capacitors. So those capacitors should not beep or give a low resistance. It should always show a resistance in the multimeter. But for, but for ceramic capacitors in the CPU circuit or exactly in the CPU socket like those, it's normal to give a low resistance, as you can see in the multimeter, a beep, about 8. Do you see? 8. The same resistance. So guys, this is not a short circuit. This is normal for the processor and chipsets. But in the other circuits, rather than the processor, all ceramic capacitors should give a resistance in the multimeter, as you can see about 400 you see all ceramic capacitors as you can see has a resistor everywhere except the cpu circuit and chipset circuit so here we have cpu circuit and over here we have chipset circuit let's see here we have about seven do you see it's not a short circuit now let's pass to tantalum capacitors. Those tantalum capacitors, it could be smaller like those, or sometimes you can find big ones like this, or like those as you can see. Do you see guys? We have this mark here or this line means here we have positive, here we, we have negative. So the tantalum capacitors are polarized. It's not like the ceramic capacitors. For the ceramic capacitors for beginner, you can connect it to the board in both sides. But this one, you have to respect these terminals, the positive terminal and the negative terminal. And of course, if you want to test it, you have to put the red probe here, okay, and the black probe in this side. I have here 10 volt capacitor. So there is many dimensions, as you can see, for those we have plus, and this one also, you see big one, small one, as you can see, guys, we have plus positive terminal, negative terminal. So let's check the cell capacitors. I mean, 10 terminal capacitors. So let's use this motherboard, for example, here, we have positive terminal, because we have this orange line, as you can see. So the negative terminal here, and the positive terminal here, do you see, guys? For 10 ton capacitor, we have also a resistance, and you're gonna see show the multimeter will show a charge and discharge. You see, charge and discharge, as you can see, guys. Maybe this is a good one. Let's check this one, the black one over here. Let's check it. Here we have positive side, negative side. This is good. Once we don't get a beep or a continuity like this, means it's good. Please, before diving into the course, we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video, PCBWay. 
PCB Way offers many services ranging from PCB production and assembly to 3D printing and a variety of materials. CNC machining, sheet metals fabrication, injection molding, and more. PCB Way makes it easy to get custom parts for your project. And if you don't like to work a lot with a soldering iron, they can even assemble your PCBs for you. That's the PCB Way. Now back to the video. As you can see, guys, we have charge and discharge. Means this is good one. Let's check this two also. We have here one, a big one, and the smallest one. Let's check. Here, guys, we have a continuity. You see, we have 22 ohm in the multimeter. Is it a short circuit? No, because this 10 ton capacitor belong to the PCH, belong to the PCH circuit. Let's check this one also. So this one. Let's swap the props. As you can see, guys, this one also is for the PCH. So this is normal. The short circuit, the real short circuit is one. Look to the multimeter. Zero or zero. 0, 01 or 0, 0, 002. This is a short circuit, but 0, 0, 008 or 7 or 22. This is not a short circuit, so this is for 10 term capacitors. So, then guys, we have other kind of capacitors. This is basically electrolytic capacitors. Okay, so electrolytic capacitors also are polarized. Okay, so this mark here, this pink color. This is negative, here we have positive, negative, positive. Look to this motherboard, for example, do you see? Negative, we have here plus, means positive. Negative, positive, we have here plus, okay? So those capacitors also for those motherboards are polarized, also the same as the 10 term capacitor. So electrolytic capacitor and 10 term capacitors are polarized, but ceramic capacitors like those, those over here and those are not polarized. So the same, always the same working principle. All capacitors, not just ceramic capacitors, but all capacitors near to the CPU or the PCH, you're gonna get a low resistance, a continuity, it's normal. So let's check this electrolytic capacitors using the multimeter to know how to test it. So easy, the black probe here in the ground, and this one in positive, we have 004. Let's check this one also. So the black probe in the ground and the positive probe in the positive terrain, we have 004. Is this a short? No. Let's check this one, for example, here. 004 let's check this one we have a resistance this one also let's check we have a high resistance guys as you can see but for this one and this one we have 0004 means these two belong to the cpu channel so this is the first channel and this is the second channel but this one basically this one it's not to belong to the cpu circuit so guys 004 it's not a short so i can even prove to you this trick so guys here i have a motherboard with a removed cpu do you see so let's check any capacitor next to the socket guys let's check the ceramic capacitor for example do you see high resistance let's check this one also high resistance in the multimeter this one also high resistance now let's connect the processor here i have the processor let's connect it like this and close the processor to the board now let's check now let's recheck again you see guys 21 here in the same capacitor this one also 21 this one also 
as you can see so means this is not a short this resistor this low resistance is just for the cpu if we remove it again just for beginner if we remove the cpu like this and recheck the ceramic capacitors high resistance in the multimeter high resistance also for the tantalum capacitor means guys the resistance the low resistance is just for what for the cpu not a short circuit so guys for inductor now let's check this inductor basically guys for inductor it's very simple very simple uh, using the multimeter in the continuity option we have to get a low resistance you see zero just a wire this one also zero this one also zero very easy so this is how you can test the inductor guys and of course the inductors there are many types of inductors in the motherboard like this big ones this one you can find also inductor like this you can find inductors in this shape also in some motherboard also you can find this kind of inductors with two terminals but always the inductor has a low resistance when testing it so this is how you can check the inductors guys and one very important and one very important information is that the inductor should never be connected to the ground never always you have to get a high reading when checking the inductors why because we check the power always inductors are in the power rail if you find uh, an inductor that is shorted to the ground like this means you have a short circuit so guys thank you very much we're gonna continue testing other component in the next part so please don't forget to subscribe share and like and join me in my patreon page if you want more unique content so thank you very much and see you in the next video.